we found a little split at the front of the boat let me show you so if you have a look here we've got a little bit of a tear and you can see I don't know if you can see but I can see daylight through there so water is coming in through the front and filling the boat up so this beach here follow it all the way round and that takes you back to the chain ferry and then obviously you've got to get it back across the harbour and hopefully we're going to make it before this boat fills up with water Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you, I hope you're well. Right, I've got a big apology to make. I put out a, a video about my boat and we was on the beach and my boat had a hole in it. And that was part one. And I did not deliver part two. So this is, this is going to be part two of that video. So just after that last video went out, episode one, um, we, we discovered that my other half, Sarah, has, has got cancer. Um, she's, she had cancer about a year and a half ago in her womb and she had an operation, she had it all took away. And unfortunately the cancer is now back. It's in one of the lymph nodes. I'll pop a picture up so you can see what that looks like. It's part of the body's defence mechanism against like illnesses and things and everything runs all around the body and we've got these little lymph nodes which are like little tube stations and then you've got all these veins and arteries which link them all together which basically means that the cancer can travel around the whole body. The, the little red area in the middle is where Sarah's cancer is. This, this picture is an actual picture of Sarah's cancer. Um, the, the green circle is the cancer and obviously the, the bone travelling down the middle is the spine. But I'm glad to say that she is on radiotherapy treatment. She was in a lot of pain and she's actually not, not in as much pain now. She's on a lot of painkillers still. And she's had to go to the hospital every day for five weeks. And it's not over, she's still getting it done now. Um, it uh, should be finished hopefully just before Christmas. So that that is why I did not put the part two of this uh, boat video out. So I want to apologise for that. But obviously under the circumstance, hopefully you guys understand. Right, so the last time you was, you was here and we was at the, uh, the beach, you saw me sat on the beach there. Um, just after we, I, I put the camera down, I'd stopped recording that video, um, Harley was playing with Jamie up in the, um, the little beach huts behind me, behind the, the trees there, and, um, they was exploring and having a look what was, what was up there. Anyway, Harley come back down holding his head and he said, Dad, I've hurt my head. And he, he had banged his head and he had a nasty cut on his head. Anyway, you can imagine the panic. We was on the beach. It was about four miles from the slipway. We had a hole in our boat and I was starting to <laughs> really worry. Um, one, if Harley was okay. And two, if we were going to make it back to the slipway safely. 
luck luckily for us there was a um an off duty doctor who was on the beach so the doctor had a look at Harley and he had a look at the cut and he said he didn't think it needed stitches but he said oh, I think it'd be okay but there was a hell of a lot of blood and was pretty worried and um so we all jumped back in the boats and we had to we had to get back on the way back the um the the water the sea was pretty rough it had got up pretty choppy so we was up down my brother was in the front holding Harley so we finally made it back to the slipway the boat was pretty full of water there was about I don't know I don't know like that much in the bottom just just enough to cover my ankles so we just about made it back anyway Harley Harley got um really bad and he um he started going all limp and weak and tired I, gra I grabbed Harley out of the boat and then the wind blew my boat around onto John's boat and John had his engine tilted up because we was in the shallow water and the side of my boat caught the end of his the tip of his engine the leg and it put a hole in the side of my boat so the ambulance finally arrived and um, the, the ambulance guys weren't particularly in a rush Anyway, they, they saw Harley and they assessed him. We went off to the hospital in the ambulance and the doctors had a, had a quick look at him and we had to sit there for about three hours. My brother was back in the car park at Paul waiting for us. Anyway, we did not get out of that hospital until about 12 o'clock, half 12 in, at night. And um, I literally had to be work the next day and I start work at like half past four. So we, there was no way I was going to get home, have some sleep and be able to get up and do a full day's work. So basically I had to phone in sick at work and lost a day's money because of it as well. So that was gutting. Long story short, Harley was fine. Um, he banged his head. It was, it was a lot of blood, um, but it was, it was worse. It looked worse than what it was. I did do a clip when we got back to the uh, to the garage a couple of days later just to show you guys the damage. Take a look at this. So you guys obviously already knew about this. Actually, look at that. That is, oh my God. Look. Jeez. It's literally just coming apart. Oh my God. That's worse than I ever thought. No wonder it was leaking. Look, literally just... Whatever glue that was, look, and see right through into the boat. Jeez. Oh my god. That's bad. That floor needs sorting out. But that's not the only issue we've got. Take a look at this side. Here we go. This is what happened on John's engine. We've got a massive split. Oh, it's about a one inch by one inch tear. I've got all the stuff to repair it. But we've had to literally we had to get it back on the trailer, tie it up like this to get it home. It was terrible. So we've now got a repair job on our hands. Um, like I said, with uh, my Sarah being ill, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it. Obviously, it's December now. It is uh, the 16th of December when I'm filming this. And I probably won't be able to repair the boat until next year. Now, I need to make sure that Sarah's right. And uh, we need to get her fixed up as best we can. So, um, hold tight for the next video. I don't know when it's going to be, but please don't leave the channel because of this. <laughs> We, um, we appreciate all our subscribers and all of our viewers and um, it means a lot that you guys are watching and hope, hopefully you're enjoying the videos. They are going to keep coming next year. I've, in, I've in, invested in new cameras, new computers as you can see behind me. I've got a whole new YouTube set up studio thing going um, where I can do all my editing. I've bought a new drone. Um, I've got a new GoPro, lots of, lots of different items that we, we've got. So, um, yeah, anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching 
and I will see you next time, whenever that might be. You come along for the ride with Budgie. Take care. Bye-bye.